Hubert Sinners, co-founder of TradeTheMarkets.com here. So there's an old adage on the street and amongst traders, and the saying is this, if you can't trade, trade corn. Now what the, the analogy or the myth is trying to get you to do is make you believe that corn is easy to trade. And it's not that corn is easy to trade, it just trends really, really well. So, and I don't know who the famous person was that said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So if you continue to trade the same market that you're trading today and yesterday and the day before and the month before and the year before, and you continue losing money, you might want to think about switching markets and maybe even tactics. So now you do have a potential opportunity in corn. So the thing that we've got on the bottom here of the chart is an ADX, ADX right here, ADX. And all this is a trend identification device, and you can have it on any chart. Anytime the ADX gets above 20, it means the market is going to start trending again. And you can see anytime it's below 20, it means the market is sloppy and choppy. Now, if we back up here, we can see that on corn overall, it's a pretty good trending instrument once it gets going all right and right now it's about to start get going again because it's at 1881 and starting to rise and we have a darvis box breakout here and the average true range on corn is about 15 cents so you do have a potential number one long and number two it's a start it's beginning to start trending again so remember if you can't trade trade corn or something that trends well the only thing that you have to be aware of on corn soybeans and wheat is there's this thing called a lock limit move all right and it's not really a a lock limit move it's just a limit move and a lot of people will will tell you it's a lock limit move when it's not really a lock limit move it's just a limit up or a limit move down and it depends on the on the instrument whether it's uh, corn soybeans or wheat and I'll just give you an example because the CME always changes these on you from time to time. So let's pretend you're in corn and let's say that the, the limit up move was say 40 cents. So if it got up 40 cents on the day, they won't let it go any higher. Or if it went down negative 40 cents on the day, it couldn't go any lower. So you just need to be aware of that. If you do get in corn and you're long or short and it gets stuck up there, it can come off, and quite often it will, but if you're in this move and it goes up 40 cents, if that's the limit, then the next day it'll probably gap up and it has a decent shot of moving higher against you if you're short and it's a limit up move of 40 cents. So remember, if you can't trade, trade corn or trade something that trades like corn. Good luck. Hope it helps. See you on the next video.